Good afternoon, everyone. This is Julian with Bootstrap Farmer. A few months back, we had a workshop on hoop houses and the different types that we offer. We also came up with a worksheet for the event and customers were able to fill that out and choose whether or not they wanted an all metal kit, a do-it-yourself kit, and any of the options to go with that hoop house. If you click the link below, it'll take you to that same document and you can fill it out and either email it in to contact at bootstrapfarmer.com or you can call direct 888-406-1982 and speak with somebody about hoop house options and we can get you a custom quote. <laughs> all right, so we've got two different styles of tunnels. We've got a do-it-yourself and then we have the all metal kit. So the do-it-yourself tunnel has wood. So the benefit of that is you save money by doing it yourself. You're gonna bend your own hoops. You're gonna buy all the pipe locally. You're gonna buy a pipe bender from us. You're gonna buy wood for your hip boards and baseboards. Now our all metal kit is all inclusive, which means it's all metal. So pretty much all the slides you've seen today are our all metal kits, which have metal hip boards, metal baseboards. They have end walls, they have doors, all that stuff's metal or prefab when you get it. DIY kit. Um, it comes with lock channel spring wire to attach to the boards. It's going to come with the plastic, the hardware that you need, um, the ground post driver, and the stuff to build your end wall. So some hardware, just screws, cross connectors. Again, the lumber I talked about, you buy that locally, you buy the pipe locally, you bend that all locally. The all metal kit's going to come with a lot of tools with it. It's going to come with drill bits, a hole saw to cut the handle for your door. Um, it's going to come with the drivers for all the bolts and the screws that you're going to use with it to put it together. It is all NRCS compliant. So you have two options. So you've got a round and a Gothic. So you have to choose which one you would like. The Gothic is the pointed one. The different widths, you saw this slide earlier. So that's the 11 foot four inch Gothic. It's got a 14 inch round. It's got a 20 foot Gothic, which we also have a 20 foot round. And then you've got the 30 foot. Now understand that the price per square foot between these structures here and this structure is significant. Uh, the reason being, all of this can be built with inch and three eighths pipe, and it's 16 gauge. When you step up to a 30 foot, these are two and three eighths. This is 1.9 inch diameter. When I say bigger or diameter, when the size increases, the total amount of steel used in the structure increases, which means the price per square foot or the total structure cost increases as well. So, to be able to do 30 foot wide, or let's say you wanted to do uh, NRCS grant for 2,160 feet, which is a lot of grants that they give you. They'll tell you a 30 by 72, or you can do a 20 by 108. It's still the same amount of square footage, but your price per square foot is less for a 20 footer because of the fact there's less metal in it, which means less expense to you. The length's optional. These are all in four foot increments. So uh, I get a lot of calls. We have 20, 40, 60, 80, 100 foot, 150 foot on our website. People want a 30 foot. Well, that means you're gonna have a last section that's gonna be two feet. So either go 20 by 28 or 14 by 28, and the next increment is gonna be 32. It's kind of wasted if you just make a two foot section at the back. Door options. So the all metal kits come with a single door, which you see here. This is the end wall, and that's a double door option. You can also upgrade a single door to a double door, or you can have double doors on both ends. So on your little worksheet there, the first question is, do you want to upgrade the door, which means the single door to a double door? And then question number two on there is for the opposite side. If you want to put a door on the opposite side, like in this picture, there's a double door in the back, then you would put yes and then designate which door you wanted. Do you want a single door in the back or a double door in the back? You've seen several photos of my neighbor's hoop house. It's a 14 by 28 Gothic. She texted me yesterday. Um, putting beds in the back, what's it going to cost to get another door? I asked her in the beginning, you sure you don't want a door? No, nah, I'll just walk around. <laughs> Especially if it's 100 foot long, that means you got to walk 100 feet back the other direction and then go outside. All right, universal door kit. This is what goes for DIYs. A lot of customers want to have a, a structured greenhouse door. They don't want to have to build it themselves. This is a essentially a, a door and a door frame that folds up and goes in a box. We're able to ship it to somebody. On the options, so there's all kinds of options on here, landscape fabric, um, insect netting, shade cloth, all of that. 
if you purchase an all metal kit, it's going to come in a pallet. The pallet occupies X amount of floor space in a truck. So it doesn't matter if that pallet weighs 2,000 pounds or weighs 3,000 pounds. A lot of this stuff that we add to it for your hoop house, we're able to reduce your costs or discount that material, insect netting, shade cloth, all that stuff. We have free shipping on our website, right? Does everybody believe things in life are free? Absolutely not, right? So with every, all the products that we have, there's a little bit of shipping built into it. So when you buy it and it's over $49, we can ship it to you for free, right? Well, you, you pay for the shipping some way or another. Same with Amazon, right? So the thing is, is let's say this, this insect netting, which is $249.99 on our website, I could probably sell it to you for $199.99 because I'm putting it in the same pallet as your greenhouse and the overall shipping cost is, is only going to go at maybe $7 for me on this giant pallet by just adding a couple rolls of something to it. So just so you know, going into this, we're going to account for all that. When you pick up all your accessories on this worksheet, at the end of it, you're going to see a lot of line items will be discounted just for the fact that I'm able to put them all in the same pallet and ship them all at the same time. Okay, roll up sides, that's an option. Really not an option in Texas, it's too hot. And unless you already have electricity or you're running some kind of chiller, you want passive ventilation. The insect netting we talked about earlier, I know Nick said something about it, I know Piper said something about it, but I'll get a little more detail. There is mica fiber. When you see one of these in person or up close, you will see that it looks like there's a rainbow strip in it. That is a mica or a glass fiber that's woven in there. That's what reflects a certain wavelength of light. That's why the bugs don't want to be around it. They don't, they won't attempt to even go through it. Landscape fabrics and pins. I know that uh, Piper, again, she said something about it, but you see how this extends out just a little bit past the house. I tell most of my customers whether or not they buy it from me or they buy it locally or whatever, at least put a minimum of 24 inches around the whole hoop house. One, you don't have to weed eat or mow around it. You're also two feet further away. So if you are mowing around it, and your mower picks up a rock, it's gonna be less likely to go through the plastic if it throws a rock at your hoop house. More landscape fabric. Uh, we've got black on the left, we've got white on the right. Both semi-permeable. The water doesn't go straight through them. When you water, if you see it sitting on top, again, it's because it's semi-permeable. Uh, shade cloth, to be more specific, this is the aluminum shade cloth. My neighbor didn't wanna spend the money on that. Again, most farmers are, are uh, price conscious, we'll, we'll, we'll say that. Um, and I said, no, you want the aluminum. And now she appreciates it because it, it was getting very hot in there before she put it on. And now she likes the aluminum. So different options. Um, the denser ones are the 50%. That's the 30%. That's the aluminum. And again, it's got, it's got actually a reflective material that runs through it. Shave cloth clips. Uh, just depending on how you're going to attach it to your structure, whether or not you'll need shade cloth clips or additional spring wire. Repair tape, you should always have repair tape. Doesn't matter. Um, again, mowing around it, you might throw a rock through it. Believe it or not, you could take six mil plastic, you could take a log, a piece, you know, a piece of split wood, and throw it at the plastic, and it's going to hit it and bounce off of it. Take a twig about that long with a little skinny point on it, and you throw it, and it'll poke a hole right through it. It just has to do with surface area, right? It's a very strong material, but you throw a blunt object in it, no problem. You throw something sharp, it's gonna make a hole through it. So you want some repair tape there. Uh, batten straps, again, those are not optional with a woven fabric. If you want some for your hoop house to tighten up areas, again, it's on there as an option. Purling kits. In this design, the longest span from here to the hip board is unsupported. So if you add a purling kit to it, the Gothics come with a purling kit, but if you add a purling kit to it, um, it just gives you additional structure. Again, wind loading, snow loading, things of that nature. We don't really deal with snow here, but corner wind braces, if you get a Gothic, they, they do come with the Gothic. Uh, if you depend on your orientation of your house, on the end walls, um, here we have pretty much a, a south prevailing wind. So if you're going to put your end wall facing south, it's, it is recommended. Nick talked a lot about these. If you're going to trellis things, grow vining crops, um, you know, 
horizontal bars and trusses are something you can add. They're, they are they are optional, and we've got them out here in the Gothic that they're they're building. You can look at those. Uh, a lot of different ways to do it. So you can do every hoop, every other hoop. You could do it uh, in sections. You could do it every 20% or every fourth hoop, just depending on the size of your hoop house and what you're going to hang. Uh, active ventilation. So depending on what you're growing, if you're growing something that has flowers and water or moisture as a consideration, and you've got circulation fans where you can continue to circulate the air within the hoop house, and then you've also got the active ventilation to take heat and move heat out of the hoop house. There's a thermostat for that, so you can activate it where it'll come on on its own. The, on the double layer, the double layer is going to require a blower. So you're inflating the two layers. So you've got the, the layer tight to the hoop house, and the second layer goes over the top of that, and you're inflating that layer. And that air pocket in there is what's actually creating the insulation for your hoop house. That's a great question. So as the, as the overall length of the hoop house increases, the price goes down per square foot. So your end walls are your most expensive part. So you have verticals on one side, you have a door on the other side. Those costs stay fixed. As it gets longer, you're adding hoops and a little more plastic, a little more ridge pole, a little more sidewall. So um, the price point for a 20 by 100 is probably down 30% versus a 20 by 20. And we'll talk about some of that in the NR NRCS section, but um, I talk to a lot of people that are gonna buy a hoop house. I kind of talk to them, what are they doing? Oh, I'm gonna be a market gardener, or I'm doing this for my family, or we have three different families on a, on a plot, and we're all gonna grow in it. And they say, well, we just want a 14 by 20 or 20 by 20. And I show them the difference in cost, price per square foot, to either double or triple what they're gonna purchase for the first time, and let them know that pretty much every greenhouse customer that I talk to or that buys from us, a lot of times I'm talking to those people the next year. And what are they doing? They're gonna buy another greenhouse. And why? Carl, for example, you become successful in growing in a hoop house, now you want more covered space to grow in. It's less expensive to invest in something double the size up front than it is to buy it twice. Because now, instead of having two end walls, now you've got four end walls, now you've got two doors, now you've got four doors, all that price increases versus you wanted to buy a 20 by 20 and now you bought a 20 by 40, your price per square foot might have gone down 10%, but it costs you less to buy a 20 by 40 than it does to buy two 20 by 20. And that's something we can explore. I mean, our prices are all on the website. You can divide it out if you need to or want to, but it definitely goes down the price per square foot as you increase in size. I just comment on the size of it. Guys, this is your opportunity to, you know, add on an extra 10, 20 feet because remember, you're going to end up sharing this because she's going to fall in love with it. And likewise, women, your husbands are going to want to be in there because it's probably double up as a nice little shop or something in the wintertime if you don't use it. So, And I guess the only other thing is on the website, we have these in 20 foot increments. If for whatever reason you need a 108 or a 94 or 64 over here, he can do that all individually so we can make them more custom so that yeah you know most of our shopping is done by folks like anywhere from 10 o'clock at night to two o'clock in the morning it's crazy to wake up and see when everybody bought a hoop house but you do have the ability to truly make this your own i mean not just through here but specifically through here with the discounts and stuff the nrcs grant am i up yeah. all right so in our cs grant we have a ton, a ton, a ton of resources, so I'm just going to kind of basically go over everything that I wished I would have said.